autoloader dot now just now inside our autoloader let's create a function and call it auto loader which we pass the class name and now it's not always a good idea for you to um implement the autoloader function as we did in uh in this.php right so this time around what we are going to do is we are calling our function autoloader which we pass the class name and then we use the standard php library to register our autoloader which accept the name of the function so let's pass it our autoloader now we can solve this problem by first having a list of all the directories that we expect um, our classes or interfaces to be found in and then the um, list of file naming formats that we expect and then after that we are traced through all the directories trying to look for those specific files if they are there we try to include the files ourselves if not then we can report that the file wasn't found and then end the application right so first of all we need to define an array let's 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 call it directories now in here let's put this there this is to refer to um classes or interface within the same directory right in this case we also have one other directory which we are calling classes now we try and add a unique file naming formats we used in our projects so we have a variable let's call it file name format right let's go to now i've added a couple of file formats to the list you can add to the list um a typical example would be something like um s dot ink dot php all right so the format goes on and on it depends on how you name your class files or interface files and stuff like that and here it's really important that you put the um common file name formats at the top so that you don't necessarily run unnecessarily for you to locate your class or interface now at this stage all we need to do is to iterate through our directories and try and check for the existence of the file if it is we will include the file ourselves we can easily do that by using the for each so let's just say directory as um let's say for each now at this stage all we need to do is to construct a path from the file formats and the directories that we have I'm um, looking at this these are just placeholders so the name of the class or interfaces will be placed in there so assuming you're calling person here we have person.php if we move on to the first one we have person.class.php right um immediately we have a path all we need to do is to check if the file exists but if the file exists so simple we just um Let's include our and just retain. So this is all that we have. Um, let's put auto load function to the test. So let's go back to our index. And let's get rid of this auto load function we had there now as you can see auto load function is here so we can easily include it into our project so we say include once autoloader.php right and let's try and then preview our index.php page Oops, 
um let's quickly make a change i think here yeah. they should have been class class name right let's preview it again and realize voila everything works it's able to load the classes within the directory and then it was even able to load the line item which is happens to be in a different directory right what is our auto load function this is what you have where's our index.php index.php right and it's able to load all that classes even those in the same directory those in a different directory right um yeah so far so good um but i then i think it's left with one thing that we really need to do let's try and make use of um a class which exists in the pair package right i'm using zam so if you go to your zam directory you see php pair um inside this package or this directory right there are utility functions classes and stuff like that which you can take advantage of they've already been included included in your class path right chances are that they're already there so um which of these packages can we use okay let's let's say we want to log something to the console right so you come to the log um for our purposes let's let's try to display uh logs in the browser right so let's let's look at the structure of this particular file so far so good let's try and make use of a class in the pair package right um if you're using zamp if you go to the zamp php you see the pair directory over there all the classes in there are for you to use right if they contain utility functions and stuff like that fpdp if you want to generate pbs on the fly and stuff like that now let's see the class you really want to use that happens to be in the log um package or the log directory and then the name happens to be display right now if you look at the name of the file the file name is display.php right but then the name of the class in there is log underscore display this log underscore happens the log happens to be the name of the directory and then they basically separate the directory from the actual class name using the underscore right what it means is for us to be able to directly access that particular file we need to replace the underscore with the slash right something like this so we need to make a modification to our function but then before we do that let's let, let's try to um create our logger and see if it works new so it's new display log sorry it's new log display the directory strike the directory name underscore name of the class right so let's put our thing to work now now realize it gives us a filter error again log underscore display not found because looking at all the checks we have in there it would not really be able to detect this file right in order for us to solve that we need to go back um and then quickly insert this here now what it means is based on the class name we try to replace all instances of underscore with the slash right and we try and then load that particular um class or that particular file if it's there we just retain if it's not there we continue with a normal execution right and then this this space is to take care of the classes or interfaces within the pair packages right so let's see if okay we still have this thing here let's go back to our browser and see if it can okay perfect so we can make use of packages within the pair and then our auto load function still works okay um let's try and then lock something out to the console and see so we say logger let's say log um 
demonstration yeah once you have this let's try it again and perfect we are done thank you for watching this video